Welcome all humans, cats, dogs, mice, and everyone else to Mario Party 8. Wait, there are mice that watch our content? Squeak, squeak. I guess there are. Buckle up, because we are going to have one humongous fungus of a party here in DK's treetop temple. Oh my god, look at that massive gray monkey in the center. He's going to eat us. Ah! Joe, that's just a stone statue of DK. If you say so. Stone statue or not, let's get this party rocking. And there's the host of the show, McBallyhoo. McBally what? Oh, you'll get to know him quick. McBallyhoo is quite the character. Just like you. True. And just so everyone knows, I'm Yoshi. Fitting, because you're both dinosaurs. I'm Luigi. The L-Man. I'm Mario. The Italian Brothers. And I am the legendary lanky Waluigi. And we have our characters by our face cams, along with matching border colors, so it's easy to know who's who. Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo hoo! Don and Joe acting like owls in an attempt to blend in with the jungle wildlife. And here's our first star location. I'll be flutter jumping my way up to that star before you even know what's going on. Well, you're first up, Joe, so let's see what you got. Will the great green dinosaur be able to navigate the the jazzy jungles. Hey, sure seems like it. And off he goes. Stomping like he owns the place. Well, what's this? It's a Weegly candy. It allows you to steal a candy from anyone you pass during your turn. Oh, I love stealing. Then it's a great candy for you. And that's a great tile to land on. Yay, yay. Solid start for the Joe Obliterator. And now the Big Don is next up. Let's see your jungle navigation skills. A six, that'll do. Jumping in like a kangaroo. Big Man Donnie in his natural element getting some candy. And it's a blow-away candy. With my skills in candy, I'm gonna blow you away in more ways than one. And he heads to the right. Would never want to be a left winger. Safely on the blue square. Time for me to get on the board. Make the Mario fans proud. Hit it, George. Bet. Crispy cucumbers with ranch. George dings the double digits. Run any faster and farther than that and he'd catch up to yesterday. And holy skippity hippity, that's a thrice candy. George gonna be be out here moving like a helicopter through a jungle. That actually sounds disastrous, uh, you know, with the blades hitting all the trees and such. You raise a great point. George gonna be out here moving like a newspaper on a windy day. Uh, hopefully with a bit more control than a flailing newspaper, but I'll take it, Obamna. And now it's my turn. Seeing my brilliance, Obamna copies my roll of eight. It's all random, Joe. Oh, well, if you also go to the right here, then I know you're copying my game plan. Ooh, Willie. Oh my god, and he does! No way! Guys, this is literally the only path to get to the star. Oh yeah, I guess that is true. But it's time for our first mini game. And it'll be a four-player mini game because we all landed on blue squares. Hopefully it's a skill-based one. Joey's feeling ready with his gaming skills today. Hell yeah, Barack! And I'm feeling the same way. Woo! Snowy, flowy Joey, we're headed to the Alpines. Time to shred the gnar! Let's get it! And those jumping Goombas got me hyped up. Just don't bump me. It could be funny, though. I agree. George encouraging bad behavior. <laughs> ah! Well, I guess a forward Bump works. Oh, damn it, Barack! Get good, oh shit. Flexed on by a snowman. Zip it, Joe. Yeah. We. These alpines got me swerving like a drunkard on the roads. What's that? Can't hear you back there. That means I can insult you freely, you expired bag of bones. Flippin' A, Joe, how the hell in a shell did you beat us? I carved up that snow like my name was Joe. Waluigi looks absolutely decimated. Five stages of grief. And I get 10 coins, yay. Well, that means you're in first place for the moment. Oh, Donnie, not just for the moment. Don't get too high on your horse, Joey. Just like Don, I'm good with business, and I might be able to strike up a deal with DK to illegally obtain some stars. Well, how about I illegally obtain your candy? Oh, don't you do it. I'm doing it. You know the economy is tight when even the president is out here trying to steal candy to save a couple of bucks. And he's morphing into something. Bada bim. Oh my god, three mini Yoshis. This is why you don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> I'm coming for you, George. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get ready to get robbed. Oh, ow, ah. Holy smokestack Sundays, I've landed on the lucky space. There is no way. Unbelievable. And I got George's succulent thrice candy. What a turn for the Joe Obliterator. He must be up to his rigging shenanigans again. Whoa, yeah, what? Ice cream land. This is rigged. Wow, this place is beautiful. Just like my plans for the next turn. I just hope you guys like getting hit by tornadoes. Uh, I, I prefer to not get hit by tornadoes. Well, today is your lucky day, except that it's not. There's one headed straight for you guys. Us Texans deal with enough tornadoes each year. Don't add to this. <laughs> oh, shit. Just keep going to the right, you know, to prove you're a right winger. Nice try, George, but tornadoes ah! aren't political. They just go wherever they can deal the most damage. Through a gust of wind, Donald sends his rivals back to the beginning. Gust of wind. You make it sound like I farted them away or something. Oh, well, with some Taco Bell ammunition, I'm sure that's possible, too. It is, and I can speak from experience. Ooh, no wonder it's always windy at your house, Obama. Yeah, that's how you know someone is a regular at Taco Bell. And by the looks of it, you guys are regulars of blue spaces because that's all you're landing on. Yeah, okay, Mr. Lucky Space. Well, I, I think it's about time for me 
to bring in some shock value to this party. Channeling inner rage from being blasted back in time from unknown wind currents, Obama looks to unleash a money-busting bolt to threaten the integrity of his friendships. Who will be caught in the Obama storm? Knowing Obama, he might just miss the wheel altogether. Hell no, nah, I'm a darts wizard. Prove it. Bam. Blistering heat of the beat, it's right on the edge. Oh, piss off, it picks me. Just who I was aiming for. That straight cap, you hucklebuck. But I guess we'll never know since he didn't specify who he was aiming for. Nevertheless, Barack delivers the pain through the arcane and breaks George's bank in half. Well, shit. But in the process forgets how to run and resorts to crawling only one square. At least I land on a blue square and get three coins. And speaking of coins, it's time for another mini game to earn some more. It's chimp flipping time. And I need these coins more than anyone else. You brokey. Hey, Obama, you can't destroy my money with your cash zap candy and then call me a brokey. He's got a point, Obama. He may have a point, but I have an ultra charged chimp super athlete. Uh, uh, yeah, um, never mind. My chimp is a wimp. Just like you. Zip it before I throw a coconut at you. Bet. Don and Joe neck and neck. But my neck proves to be superior. Ooh, I really thought I had that. And the chimps cheer on the Don in a flippin' wild display of moves. And the great businessman Donald Trump gets even richer and jumps into first place. But certainly not for long, as I'm about to collect some free money. Okay, flex on us a bit harder, you lucky space lottery winner. Hey man, I'm just good at the game. With Don next up, let's see if he can be the same. All he needs is a four and the lucky space he'll claim. Donnie gets up and steadies his aim. But he misses his mark and only has himself to blame. And what's this? Ah, oh, oh my God, the chimps betrayed me. From being cheered by the chimps to being chased by the chimps, these jungle buffoons are not to be trusted. Oh, please tell me they don't jump across. They descend back into the jungle depths. True. And while Don is now safe from the chimps. For the moment. Yeah, no kidding. He is no longer on the path to the star, leaving it open to George and Obama. And although I could indeed head directly to the star, I am actually four parallel universes ahead of y'all and will take this alternative route to execute my mysterious yet futuristically conclusive path to victory. All common sense would lead me to believe this is a blunder and makes no sense, but we'll let him cook. Maybe he realized I would simply beat him to the star because Waluigi's legs are longer and has decided to prepare for the next one. That's quite an intriguing theory, Obama. Indeed. You'll just have to see. And Obama barely avoids the green space, which is probably for the best. Yeah, I bet he'd also go barreling away like you did, Donnie. But now we're headed into a 1v3 mini game because because George landed on red in Donnie's green space, randomized to blue. And power trip it is. I'm gonna power trip you guys all over the place. Oh, spoon on the moon, I don't wanna be power tripped. Don't matter, you'll be tripping on my power soon enough. George is electrified with malevolent intentions to trip us up in this unsettling arena. Okay, so guys, for this mini game, pretend George is an armed drug dealer and just run the hell away. Bet. I'm good at running away from things. Makes sense since you run away from a lot of our country's problems. Hee <laughs> hee. But you can't outrun this problem. Oh shit, shit. <laughs> oh, cinnamon sticks, get away from me. Ah! Joe, it's all up to you. I will survive. Let's go. Hell yeah, Joe. Oh gosh darn diddly damn it. You lads are as lucky as a school bus without yelling kids. And 30 new coins enter circulation. Better hope that this doesn't cause inflation. I think we'll be all right. Now George is really a brokey. Quit harping on it or I'll make your bones be brokey too. Settle down, guys. True. I Because it's time for some splendid gold running, albeit quite short. I bet you just want to stay on the lucky path for as long as you can. Yeah, well, I don't mind staying here for a couple of turns. It's quite peaceful. Meanwhile, Don Donnie's tearing it up on the left side of the map, now visiting a candy shop. But no way in hell I'm spending any money there. I only take the free candies. Watch out, Donnie. Why? Ah! Oh my god! The monstrous eater becomes the monstrous eaten. And the piranha plant devours 10 of Donald's coins. Next time, I'm gonna bring a pair of shears and show those piranha plants who's the real boss. You show them, Donnie. And I do have some candies, but right now it's best for me to roll normally. All righty. And gets a one. George continues to cook his mysterious plans with a patient waiting turn. And now what are you up to, Obama? Nobody else is here, so I can just casually stroll to the star. Barack trying to save a few calories and skips the candy. And does some ladder climbing for added cardio. And holy bing, bong, bang, Obama plants himself on the lucky space. This is amazing. Incredible luck. Whoa, but I'm also getting dizzy. But it's a fun ride though, isn't it? Yeah. And now we head into the next mini game. Whoa, whoa. And it's swing, Kings. Time to get batting. I'm ready to hit a bucket of homers. But the only thing that matters is getting the hit. But why not flex on everybody? You raise a good point. Time to get swinging and dinging. I'm gonna be dinging more than Ding. a doorbell. You dingus. Yeah, Ding. this shifty ass shy guy Ding. switching up the pitches on me. Ding. Sneaky little guys. Yeah, for real. Ding. Read that one though. Ding. Joe, how the hell are you so good at this? Oh, I'm a different beast at the plate, Barack. Hickory stickery, you ain't lying. I bet he snuck out of the White House to practice this. Perfect score. You absolute unit. Well, fair play, Joey. Look at you guys picking up the balls back there, hee <laughs> hee. A bit of extra cardio never hurt. I disagree. Of course you do. Mind if I snag a few of those coins, Joe? Nah, I actually need them for the super cool new ice cream machine I'm saving up. Up for. Fair enough. That does 
actually sound pretty awesome. And my goodness, Joe is still camping out on the lucky path. Just taking my time. A relaxing stroll through the jungle. That's right. But now here goes Big Don. And it's Tuesday, apparently, because I just roll a two. Oh, uh, that's too bad. And I still got my candies, but I also got my plans. Time to boot along with a normal roll. And it's a solid six roll. One square for each day of the week. We There's seven days in a week, Joe, not six. Yeah, close enough. And now George passes by DK's barrel cannon. Is being yeeted through space part of his plans? Indeed it is. Blast me off, DK. But it costs you most of your coins. Sometimes you have to invest in your launch. And here he goes, the high-flying, death-defying, can't afford any buying, welfare-relying, but always trying, George the Big W. Bush. My bank might be broken, but my plans are intact. All righty. Well, now it is Obama's time to shine on the lucky path. Oh, yeah. Obama going heavy with a big nine roll. Those long legs steaming along. Even passing me up. Yeah, I flex on my homies. Yeah, and you know what time of the party it is. It's mini game time. But holy evaporated Coke Zero, it's a battle mini game. We all put money in the pot, and it'll be distributed to the winners. And what will the amount be? Ten. All right, it's time to pay up, boys. Gonna be 40 coins for the pot. Some pretty big winnings here. Wait, George is cheaping out. George. Sorry, guys. He blew his budget on the barrel cannon. If you guys were in my shoes, you would have done the same. That's probably true, but I don't fit in your shoe size, George. Shoes or not, it's time to shoot some targets. Nice choice of words, Barack. Let's see if we can lace some combos together. These shoe puns are hurting my soul. Let's just point our toes to the target and steady our aim. Hopefully, I'll nail all the shots in my frame. And I think I shall be able to do the same. Otherwise, I'll set this place a flame. Uh, pyromaniac. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Phew. Psych, I'm actually not. <laughs> Oh my God, George is going to burn down the building. But it's made of stone, so we should be fine. Ah, uh, you saw through my verbal distraction trickery, Joe. But at least I've thrown Don and Obama off enough to hold second place. Wait, th that's what you were trying to do with all that fire talk? Yep, the sneaky distraction technique. George really trying to play 4D chess with us, but Joe's out here playing 5D chess, sees through it, and wins. Wow. What a turn of events. Hey, can someone pick up what just dropped? I think my wallet overflowed. Oh, no need to rub it in, Joe. You probably have enough money now for that super cool new ice cream machine you were saving up for, Joey. You're probably right, Obama. But now it's the halfway point in the party. Five more turns to go. And it looks like McBally, who was cooking something. Taking a look at the standings. And there's the ice cream man in first. High on his horse. Or just high in general. Obaminator in second. The big Don's still on the podium. And the great W. Bush in the back, ready to slingshot forward. And the crazy part is none of us have stars yet. But that's changing this turn. And it's time for Trump charity. Did you say Trump charity? Yeah, that's what it said. I'm getting free stuff. No, Donnie, it said Trump charity. And McBally, who was giving last place a Dulo candy. Oh, that's a lot less awesome, but it's all right. I'll still win this party. And it seems like McBally, who is not done yet. Oh, what's he doing? Oh my God, it's raining free money. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Can never say no to free stuff. Hell yeah. With all that money on the board, I'd say it's time to coin tenue. Yeah, this will be very enriching. It smells really good around here with all the scents in the air. I'll use my thrice candy now to surf around and cash the wave. After several turns on the lucky path, Joe's ready to run for his money. And I'm sure he's banking on a high roll here. So let's see if his plan comes to fruition. First roll. Woo! A seven. Yay! Now the second dice. A fair five. Yay, yay! Last one, Joe. And a six to bridge the gap. Eighteen is the total. And it's time for the first star of the game. This is where things start to get real. Enjoy your star, Joey. Thanks, Obama. I wonder what a star tastes like. Stars aren't edible, George. If they were, they'd probably be like lemon pie. Ooh, look at me shine. Yeah, Barack, that sounds about right. Joe picks up his star and heads down the pipe. Which appears to have no connection with the other end of the pipe and probably works with wormhole magic. As long as it gets me to where I need to go, I don't question it. What if we installed some of those warp pipes in our country? We literally wouldn't need planes and other forms of transport. Yeah, seriously, we need some of those. It's all fun and games until someone builds a public warp pipe into the White House. And Joe nearly hits the lucky space again. That would be funny if I did. You guys would probably fall out of your chairs in disbelief or something. Or fall through it. It's possible. Especially at your weight. Obama, I just got a bolo candy, so I'd be careful if I were you. Okay, bolo man. But right now, I'd call him coin collector man, because he's scooping up lots of currency. Enough to perhaps spend a bit of money at the candy shop. Let's see those negotiating skills, Don. Bet. A thrice sprinkle and bolo candy. I already have a bolo candy, and Taco Bell's got me boosting pretty fast, so I think I'll invest in a springo candy. Now armed with a springo candy, Donnie is preparing to jump to new heights. I wonder if I'll get similar effects if I eat certain candies in real life. Don't think it works like that, Barack. In before Obama eats a bucket of high jump candies to try to jump the Trump wall. Oh, I wouldn't even need high jump candies for that, Don. Don't kid yourself, Obama. But you know what's better than jumping over things? What? Burning through them. It's time to go ablaze. Holy shit. <laughs> George gets lit out of nowhere. We're in a jungle, George. Open fire is not safe. He doesn't seem to care. Oh, don't worry, guys. I won't burn much down. That's 
reassuring. But I will jump on this plant real quick. No, don't. You'll burn it down. Too late now. The best we can do is just hope the plant didn't catch fire. I think, I think the plant is okay. McBallyhoo is kind of crazy for giving George that candy, though. Nah, he's a real one. Let's see if Obama is too. He gets a 10. I'm as real as it gets. And he's going to pick up the second star of the game. As the saying goes, good things come to those who land on lucky spaces. Can't argue with that, I guess. And, and hold on. I think there's something in my pocket. Ah, uh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> smooth one, Barack. Pretty crazy how you can fit that rose in your pocket. Yeah, and don't roses normally have thorns? Oh, I made sure to remove them before putting the rose in my pocket. And speaking of pockets, it looks like he's sneaking a Wiggly candy in there, too. Yeah, so I can pick pocket candies from you guys? You meanie! Also, I'll head left here since Joe will get the current star in the next turn, so I'll go somewhere else for the next star. And that somewhere else appears to be the candy shop. Trying to satisfy your sweet tooth, eh, Obamna? Ooh, they have a thrice candy. Sounds like he found a sweet treat he likes. Yeah, I think I'll buy it. And Obama stuffs yet another candy into his pockets. Giving up those 20 coins will make just enough room for my new thrice candy. I have a suspicion that the next turn will be eventful. I think you might be right, George. But before that, it's mini game time. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be a 2v2. Joe, me and you versus the smelly Luigi's. Zip it, mister. I didn't shower since last week. W. Bush. Oh, done. You don't know two hoots. I literally showered this morning. And now we got to focus up and take shots at booze. Take shots of booze? I don't drink alcohol. No, I said take shots at the booze. Oh, I see, Joey. Yeah, it's time to kill the ghosts. But you can't kill ghosts. Nah, that's fake news. I literally just killed some. Usually I'd be annoyed at Joe for stealing my fake news line, but he's totally right here. And I'm killing a bunch of ghosts, too. But they aren't truly dead. Oh, hell yeah, they are. The way me and George are blasting them, they are definitely dead. Same with me until my stinking Wii remote stopped working, damn it. Is there anything you can do, like, Maybe throwing some duct tape on it or something? Uh, There's nothing a bit of duct tape can't fix. Yeah, uh, I remember way back when I was a teenager in the Boy Scouts, uh, we were asked uh, by some villagers to repair a bridge that fell apart in their old village. So we strung together some pieces of wood with duct tape and made it look safe. I'm not really sure if it was safe or not, but we never heard from them again, so it must have been fine. What if you never heard from them again because they went on the bridge and died? Did you test the bridge after your repair? No, we were too scared to test it. Yeah. Well, anyways, me and Joe pick up an easy 10 coins each since Donnie's Wii remote died, but we were winning beforehand anyways, so it didn't really change much. And now it's time for me to finally collect this star that has been here since turn one. And if my calculations are correct, the next star will fall right into my lap. You've never been known for your math skills, so I'm betting your calculations are off. Yeah, off the charts with how good they are. All right. Ooh, I'm hungry for some stars. My appetite for stars is growing too. Meanwhile, I'm becoming a literal galaxy with all the stars I'm collecting. Two stars is pretty good, but not enough for a galaxy. You won't be saying that when you start getting warped by my gravitational field. Ah, piss! It seems my calculations are all warped as well. Instead of falling into your lap, the star has fallen into mine. Yeah. Ooh, another stealing candy. <laughs> but hold on, Joe is actually going to get really close to this star. Holy hydrogen-powered thermonuclear rocket wagon, Joe passes me and is just two spaces from the star. But you want to know something crazy? What? I was just trolling you guys. My calculations have been 100 percent accurate and on point this whole time because I will spring o to you guys. Oh my god. George, he's trying to snuff the star right from under our noses. He has no business taking this star from either of us. Well, he still has to get the right person on the dart wheel. That's true. He could still choke. Not gonna happen. And I will land right near the star as my calculation prophecy is foretold. Wow. So the star actually did fall into his lap, albeit indirectly. That's exactly right, Obamna. I just knew that the stars would align in one way or another. Well, fair play, Donnie. I was not expecting those kinds of tactics. And he only rolls exactly what he needs to reach the star and has the exact amount of coins. Don with the precision. Calculated from start to finish, the Don shows up bigly. But now I'm really curious where the next star is going to be. We're all in the same area now, so it'll be a real race to wherever it may be. Very true. All right, McBallyhoo, no messing around. Where are you putting it? Room. Flying down to the south and to the east, the next star will be a bit of a walk. So it will be important to eat lots of steroid candies to get there as fast as possible. Wait, these candies have steroids in them? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Pretty sure we wouldn't pass a drug test after eating these. So I'm going to eat one right now. George is about to go cruising. He's going to be the real George of the jungle. Damn straight. Just don't fly into any trees. Wasn't planning on, Barack. If you were, I would be concerned. Oh, that pun was a tree stumper, Joe. With jokes like that, I think it's time for me to branch off and leaf this scene. Just don't get lost like my pet tree once did. 
He took the wrong route. Oh, don't you worry, I'm logged in to my navigational senses. He's scurrying down those ladders like he really wants to descend. We Now inside the barrel, diving into the deep end. But this time I'm passing up the DK barrel cannon because I don't want to spend. And he collects all the money with that triple dice full send. And now it's Obama's turn. He's got a fistful of candy. But I'll just roll normally for now. Seems like a blunder to me. Well, none of the candies would have helped me here. But Obama, watch out. You are in danger. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. The piranha plant gets fed and leaves Obama out for dead. Gosh darn carnivorous plants. However, another mini game is next up for a chance to regain your coins. But beating me is an unlikely event. Especially when it comes to doing graffiti. Is that a compliment or an insult? A bit of both, I think. A compliment insult. But get your paintbrushes ready, guys. Time to become world famous artist. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much already am. How so? I've done a bunch of painting in real life. Let's just see if I can convert my artistry skills to this game. Wow, George, it shows. You're pretty good at this. Thanks, Joe. And it appears that Don and Obama are struggling to trace simple shapes. Hey, man, it's not easy to do with a Wii remote. Skill issue. Well, George wins this one fair and square. Literally. He really pulled out the United States Square Force on that one. That joke was so terrible, I'm gonna need some health square to recover. Holy shit. Well, enough of that. It's time to get into the last three turns. Joe, what are your plans? Here. To steal your candy. No, don't do that! What can I say, Donnie? I just love stealing. At least he's honest about it. Uh, yeah, I'm glad he is, I guess. The Joe Obliterator prepares to steal fortunes from anyone in his path by transforming into three mini Yoshis in an attempt to appear childlike and innocent. And the child Yoshis get a max roll of ten. Oh, I'm being attacked by a gang of kids. Hee <laughs> hee. And the gang swiftly moves on like they just got the loot from the cookie jar. Now it's time to take a look at the spoils of the gang activity. It yields a bolo candy. Whether it's being chased by chips or robbed by kids, I could really use some security out here. Yeah, this place is wild. Yep. I don't see any civilization around here. I meant wild as in chaotic, but you're spot on with that too, Obamna. Damn right I am. But this jungle has nice things too. I get to ride the water slide. Oh, that looks so fun. Wee! And the water slide even has coins. That was awesome. That gave you a fun ride, brought you farther ahead, and filled your wallet. What a W for the dawn. And now it's George's time to roll. Nobody is ahead of me to bolo, so it's time to roll solo. And he gets an eight. Why was seven scared of eight? Why? Because seven, eight, uh, nine, uh, wait, that's, that's not how the joke went. Shit. It's all right, Joe. And I'll head right here and land on the blue space. And I got a blue joke for you. A cheese factory exploded in France. This doesn't sound like a joke. It blew cheese everywhere. <laughs> I bet there was nothing left but debris. Oh my God, blue cheese pun and a brie cheese pun. These cheesy puns have me shredded. And I see you're using your twice candy, Barack. Talk me through what you're thinking. Seems like he's trying to get you to reveal your plans. Well, it's pretty simple. Nobody in front of me to steal candy from with the Weegly candy. There are three turns left, so I might as well start eating. And you can only hold three candies at once, so I had to make room for that new one. Good job, Donnie. Now we got all his intel. Oh, yeah. You guys are as silly as pizza with no dough. I just stated some simple logical reasoning, not some top secret plans or anything. Hmm, you raise a valid point. But guys, it's about to rain. We are literally inside a house. How can it rain here? Let the balls rain down and let the chaos ensue. Oh my God. This is insane. I'm being swarmed by spheres. You cannot run, you cannot hide. Well, you can run, but the only way out is to pop the spheres. I'm popping them like Rice Krispies. This is like a ball pit, except that instead of jumping into the ball pit, the ball pit jumps onto you. So it's pretty much the revenge of the ball pit. They're out to get us. Ah, holy harpoon. Shifty rat in the hat, this is unhinged. And remember, the first person to explode all 50 of their balls wins. I'm currently in the lead. <laughs> Quick, everyone sabotage him. No, you can't do that. Yeah, we can. We're playing by the MLG rule set. But we got to keep tabs on Joe, too. He's close behind. Got to sabotage them both. <laughs> uh, me and Don are tied at 49. This is a war. Whoa. I got it. I win. Damn it. Yeah. Holy shifty sand in the hand. Donald pops off. Literally. With a clutch victory. Crispy can of beans. That was close. And the weather shifts to confetti. Rain. Sweaty confetti. What? And the scoreboard shifts the Don to second place. All right, lads, last two turns. Joe, what are your plans this turn? Last turn, I stole your bolo candy, and now this turn, I'm going to use it against you. If that's not robbery at the highest level, then I don't know what is. The game is the game. For Don's sake, I hope Joe doesn't reach him. Oh, I will. Well, we are about to find out, as Joe is all ready to go balling. <laughs> Shit! He gets a one. At least the Yosh ball gets a fun ride in the barrel. That is true. And Donald will not have his bolo candy used against him. Thank God. And that means you can run freely, Donnie. And run freely, I will. Don gets a three to flex on Joe 
Joey. Get tripled, you stinky. Hey, man. Things are getting personal, but I'm just going to eat my bit-sized candy and gain some coins. And if you roll high enough, you might even reach the star. Yeah, I think you only need a three. And I just got a three, George, so you know it's possible. All right, well, here he goes. It's a two. Toot toot. And the George train is off. And the tracks lead us to a vine jump. He's going ape. Will he stick the landing? Hell yeah. Like a trained professional, George lands the train. But doesn't quite reach the star. Oh, trust me, this is all part of my plan. I'll believe it when I see it. Very well, then. All righty, Obama, are you going to eat another candy? Might as well, since it's the second last turn. Yeah, why not? I'll get dicey with it and eat the thrice candy. Oh, he's about to go kicking. Kicking chicken. That reminds me of the time when a horde of chickens broke into our house because... I left the back door open, and then chaos ensued, and I started kicking them out with a broom, but they kept coming back, probably because I had KFC on the table. 29! And they were angry or something. But then I pulled out my handgun, and it was all over for them. Holy shit! KFC refill, am I right? Yep. That story isn't true, though, is it? Uh, well, most of it is. What part did you just make up? The whole chicken part was not real, but the KFC on the table and the back door being open actually happened. Yeah, I figured. Kind of wish it was real, though. Donald versus the chicken raid. Yeah, that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Maybe one day it'll actually happen. Who knows? And in the meantime, Barack's been flying around the map, quite literally, with a gigantic 29 roll. Just about the highest possible. Nobody can outrun long leg Waluigi. Can't argue with that. Man's about to complete a full loop around the map. He gets a duplicate candy, so it'll be just about as useful as scrap. And jumps up that plant like a very athletic chap. After circling the whole board in one turn, I think I'm ready for a nap. But keep that nap short, because we're headed into a 1v3 minigame. And it's the most American-themed minigame. Guns. Hell yeah. All right, Joe and Obama, we need to gun down George so he can't get to the top. Bet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I know how we Americans are with guns. Don't worry, George, these guns are non-lethal. Get your guns steady and ready. And let the barrage begin! America! I got him! Ah, I feel like I'm in a school. Looks like this is a win for the gunners. Yep, he couldn't make it to the top in time. Dead gummit. And that means we pick up some cash for our crimes. Hold up, just gotta shift these coins around in my wallet to make more space. No need to flex your wealth like that, Joe. Oh, damn it, some of the coins fell out the top. Bruh, this guy. Haha, <laughs> you know I'm just messing with you guys. He do be trolling. Oh, you silly bugger, Joey. Well, it's the last turn. Finish off strong, Joe. Holy fire, toasted bread. Joe jumps just past the DK space. It's a okay, I'm just chilling. Fair enough. Now let's see what Donnie's cooking. Three times three. Oh, Don's pulling out the quick math. Had to do it. And he's heating up the pace. Heading to the right. And make that times two. No way. On to the vine. Swinging and flinging. And a leap of faith. But you're just shy of the star. Quite unfortunate, but at least I get to hang out with George. Sup, Donnie? Nothing much, just taking in the glow of the star. But now get ready to witness my ultimate plan. Oh, shit. He's been hyping this up all game. It starts with a 10 and a star, but this is only the beginning. Strong start, but we have to see what's next. As I stated before, I am four parallel universes ahead of y'all, and my mysterious yet futuristically conclusive path to victory continues with a seemingly lucky next star placement. However, this was all predicted through my deep calculations and analysis techniques. I honestly can't tell if George is a genius or if he's just really lucky, but this is crazy. Is he actually going to make it to this second star? Indeed I will, Joe. Man, that this has to just be luck. There's no way you calculated all this back on turn three. However you want to rationalize, this is fine. Just know that this was all part of my plan. Wow, I, I'm speechless. And holy dog, woof on the roof, this really shakes the competition up. Just like that, he goes from zero stars to two stars in one turn. I guess you could say I'm the star of the show now. Not your best pun, but after the turn you just pulled off, I can't knock it. And the next star sits right next to the piranha plants. Since this is the last turn, nobody will be able to get it, so I bet those piranhas are gonna grow their stems long enough to go out and snatch it and eat it. Wouldn't put it past those darn plants to do something like that. But hold up, Obama is chomping down on a duolo candy right now. Are you Scared? Uh, a little, I don't want to get burnt by your fire. Sss, crackle. Sss. What the hell kind of sounds are you making, Barack? The sound of the sizzling blaze of fire that I am. Heading straight for the Joe Obliterator. Oh no, oh no, no, no. You cannot run, you cannot hide. We're gonna duel and it'll be one hell of a ride. This could shift the leaderboards around big time. This will be exciting, that I can tell you. A lot is at stake. Ooh, I could go for a steak right now, not gonna lie. Oh, George, you know I'm not talking about the food meaning of steak. But now that you've brought it up, it's got me hungry too. But gosh, diddly ding dang, we're jumping into a game of cardinators. It's gonna be a heater. In times like this, I think we would benefit from having seat belts on our couch, cause this could go wild. True. I'm picking the middle card. Okay. Flipping bagel on the table, Obama gets the higher number so he'll go for 
first. But will he pick up a good first card? Absolutely. And since the middle card served me well in the opening, I'll pick middle again. Holy shit! Unbelievable! That's the most powerful card in the game! Here it comes. Oh my god! Chomp, chomp! Ah! Absolute brutality Ow. right from turn one. A rough start for Joe, but let's see if he can fight back. I'll hit him with the Biden blast. Show me what you got. Bet. This is getting real. Here he goes! Oh shit, shit, shit. my god! Time to bite the bullet, Barack. The bullet bill train coming in hot. News headline, bullet train went unhinged and went off the tracks to triple attack long-legged hobo. I ain't no hobo, George. Let's see if he can prove that with his next card pick. And he picks the triple chimp card. That's quite the chimp move, Barack. Don't be monkeying around with baboonish puns like that or I'll go ape. Ow. My goodness, Ow. the jungle Ow. dwellers jump on Joe's head. And they bring him down to just two health. So that means if I survive this next round, I'm pretty much guaranteed to win. But let me be clear, you're not surviving this next round. Can he actually carry through with his threat? No, one chimp will not be enough to take out Obama. Empty threats and jungle pets, it just won't be enough. And that means this will be an easy win for the Obaminator. Hell yeah. Well, not necessarily. Joe, you literally have two health left. Even the singular chimp that attacked me would have defeated you. But he attacked you, not me. So get wrecked, Lawlix D. Oh my yes. God! Obama pulls the one card that doesn't win right away. Are you kidding me? That gives Joe one more chance. It all comes down to this, a 50-50. I'm gonna pick the card closest to me. Will it be the winning card? No, that ain't it, no that ain't way. it. Obama will survive this. Unless I, come, 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 come. Oh! Will that do more damage? Shit, shit. It's oh. just barely not enough. Damn it. This is insane. And that means I win. Let's go. Unless. What do you mean, unless? If he could rig an election, he could probably rig a mini game. Don't even think about rigging this, Joe. Okay, okay, I won't. And with everything done and dusted, Obama secures the victory. Congratulations, Obama. Thank you. But that was an epic fight, you two. Yeah. Obama, I really thought I had you there with the extra Kablamo damage on my last card pick. I honestly thought that would do it too, but I just barely survived. I couldn't believe it. And that means Obama can spin the wheel of fortune. What will be on it? Stars. No, not my stars. But the real question is, can he hit one of them, or will he blunder the opportunity and hit the coins instead? Yes. No way, no way, no way. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Let's freaking go! Wow. Shit. God damn. I cannot believe this just happened. Me neither. My stars. Are now my stars. And Joe goes from first to last, and Obama goes from last to first. What a shakeup. But Obama, you lose three coins. Damn it. And now we jump into the final mini game of the party. Oh, and it looks like it's gonna be a shifty snow showdown. Against George. Here comes Santa. No way. I got the money, guys. Perfect. Wait, what? Yeah, all three of us are Santa. We definitely didn't break into the house or anything. Sounds kind of sus. I think you guys are impossible. Oh shit, guys, I think George is on to us. Well, I just ran off the roof, so he can't get me. <laughs> ah! Donna, you can't just take off and hide. We gotta win this mini game. Good luck, boys. Well, George got me, so it's all up to Joe. You got this, Joe. I'm cheering for you, and I'm definitely not a coward for jumping off the roof right away because I didn't want to ah! face the wrath of George's snowball machine after he caught us for being Santa imposters. Easy dub for the big G. Oh, and what's this money sitting next to you, Obama? Did you steal from the house? Only a little bit. I'll give it back to the homeowners without telling them it's their money, so I look like a generous donator. All right. But flipping chair in the air, it's time for the finale. And McBally, who is cooking? You can tell he's on those steroid candies. For real. And now he's gonna give out three bonus stars for winners of certain categories. And the first one is for the biggest candy muncher. Oh, that's gotta be me. Holy hickory sticks on a Tuesday, it's a tie. Oh! It's me and Obama. Kinda saw that coming, you sweet tooths. You're just jealous of our stars. But not your cat. Nah, we got our oral hygiene on lock. Damn right. Oh, okay, that's good then. Next up is the shopping star. Who spent the most money at the shops? None of us were big spenders. Yeah, I'll be honest, those candy shops looked a bit shady. Well, yeah, George, there were trees all over. Don, I meant their shops seemed a bit shifty. Oh, but it's Donald and Barack who get the shopping star. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I think it's about time for McBallyhoo to give me a bonus star, too. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of hungry for one more. Don't be a greedy chungus. Uh, this next bonus star will go to whoever landed on the most red spaces. Red is my my color, it should go to me. No, this one is for the big G. Wow, that means we all got a bonus star. But who will reign supreme as the ultimate champion of the universe? Who has the most stars? Who has the biggest galaxy? Who flexed on their homies the hardest? Who rigged the game the most? Me. Who just farted? Me. And who will sit on the star throne? It's gotta be me. No, it's definitely me. Me, me, me. No, me. Oh, the anticipation. Come on, come on. Yes. Poop. Damn it. Dad gum it. I am the winner. I guess you are, Obama. But that was a hell of a good party, guys. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And what a crazy turn 10 we had. Yeah, I still can't believe what happened. Honestly, me neither. But let's take a look to see who got second and third. Holy crispy chicken sandwich, I got second. And I still clung onto the podium. And I got robbed. You did, but there's always a new chance next game.